Hello everyone! Ah, uh, if you are watching the story, we can't. We just done Ragnar's story, and you came from the arcade video. We just did Ragnar's arcade, and now we are going into the next story. Let's go into Jin in the story. Let's see what he's been, what he was up to during the story. Jin stories decision. Or desert. Oh, I think that's actually desertion, actually. For him, the simple act of waking up came as a shocking surprise. Even within the shadowy depths of his dreams, he always kept his eyes tightly closed. And so, he did never see the, uh, the exit from his mind appear. Off in the distance, he could hear a faint voice, but it sounded as if it was a being, being swallowed by the surrounding darkness. There, there was a the sound of something beyond ice being... Being sca scattered, er, or shattered, himself becoming something else entirely. He doesn't understand any of it, Ed, and his head feels like it's being ripped, ripped apart. This is why Jin Kizaragi will always wait with his eyes closed for the for the light of day, for it, for it is this light that will free him from the endless nightmares. <sighs> Not again. <sighs> there was something not quite right about the room in which he awoke. Jin scanned the room, taking in his surroundings. This is... Why am I in a bed? Where am I? Jin got out of the bed, throwing aside the pure white sheets that covered him. His eyes were drawn to the object that was propped up beside him. Him, Motoro Adigasco, oh, Guscuson. I cannot say that. What's its name? I see. That's right. I was. I fought my brother, and that's when. Wait. What happened to my brother? I. I don't have time to lay around here. Damn these wounds. Major Kisaragi, you shouldn't be pushing yourself so hard yet. Who the hell are you? Where is this place? I'm... I'm sorry, Major. I'm from the 3rd Thaumaturgia Squad, Warrant Officer Ellen Nelson. This is the medical bay of an NOLR's Magus vessel. A medical bay? Warrant Officer? What's today's date? Yes, it's January 3rd, sir. I've been asleep for three days? Your injuries appeared to be quite serious, so you were brought here for treatment. Warrant Officer Nelson, was it? Who brought me here? I'm afraid I do not know the answer to that question, sir. I was just assigned to this post yesterday. My orders, however, were made perfectly clear. I am to take care of you until your injuries have healed completely. And who gave you these orders? I was given my orders by Captain Hazama, sir. Captain... Hazama? Nelson, I'm sorry, but I'm not feeling too well. Could you please leave? Yes, sir. Um... What is it? it? It's a great honor to be able to take care of you like this, sir. If you need anything at all, please feel free to call me. And now, if you'll excuse me... An Ars Magus vessel? Judging by how I feel right now, we must be airborne. This must be one of the NOL ships configured for defense. Did you call me, Major? I'm a little thirsty. Please bring me a glass of water. Understood. I will return right away. Now. Excuse me, Major. I brought your water. I apologize for this, but... Uh? <laughs> now that I have her key card, let's see what her clearance level is. Level A, I should have known. I was hoping I could commandeer an escape pod, but I guess I'll have to settle for the next best thing. Captain Hazama's involved, yet there are hardly any guards. Is this a trap? Circling directly above Kagutsuchi? 
Why aren't we heading back to HQ? This has to be a trap. No matter. Trap or not, I will allow nothing to deter me from finding my brother. Huh! Choice time! So our choices are just close your eyes and wing it, jump with your right foot forward! Um, I believe we want to, uh, to select the second option. If it will select, there we go. Looks like he's gone. That's the second time he's gone off on his own like that, you know. Disobeyed orders. I don't think we can just turn a blind eye to it anymore. Even if he is the hero of Ikaruga. So, I'd say it's probably high time our hero died an appropriately heroic death. Killed in action, of course. <laughs> so, Phantom Buddy, I'd like to make sure he meets his end, alright? Don't let Ragna do him in though, okay? It's gotta be Tsubaki. Tsubaki Yayoi. Seems like my wounds haven't healed as much as I would have hoped. I'll just have to ignore them for now. It looks as if the wind blew me a little off course. Is that Kagutsuchi over there? Jin unstrapped himself from the parachute harness and tossed it aside. I'd better get going. Huh? Who's there? I can sense your presence. Show yourself now. Well, I'll be damned. What's the hero of Ikaruga doing in a place like this? Who are you? I'm impressed, kid. You almost got a bead on me, not once, but twice. That ain't easy to do. <laughs> and again, maybe this old body of mine just ain't what it used to be. What in the hell are you? A cat? Beastkin? Whatever he is, I don't see any weaknesses in his defense. There's definitely more to him than meets the eye. Sure has been a while, Jin. What do you mean by been a while? I've never seen you before in my life. Whoa there, calm down, son. I reckon you don't remember me. Well, that's all right. You ain't hurt my feelings none. Name's Jubei. Jubei? Jubei? You've got to be kidding me. You're telling me that you are the Jubei of the Six Heroes? There was a time folks called me that, sure. Are you for real? You feel like finding out? Don't make no never mind to me, but uh, I don't figure it'll turn out real well for you. What with the shape you're in. Funny. I could say the same thing about you. Sharp mind you got there, son. The hero of Ikaruga, huh? You've grown a bit since I saw you last. Meaning what? Nothing. Besides, what you ought to be thinking about just now is what you're gonna do next. Why should I tell you anything? Heading to Kagutsuchi, are ya? Oh, don't worry yourself, I ain't gonna stop you. Matter of fact, best thing you can probably do is go and fight, and you got plenty of that to do. Against fate. Hell, against yourself. Just remember. This is your fight. Ain't nobody else's. And if you can, I'd ask you to make good where I done wrong. What in the hell are you talking about? Ain't how I would have liked it. But all I can do now is keep an eye on what the rest of y'all do. Folks used to say I was the strongest critter around, but hell, if everything I do don't mean squat, I'm about as useful as tits on a bull. I apologize, but hero or not, I don't have any more time to waste chatting with you. Listen, kid, before you go, I gotta tell you something. An old friend of mine, a comrade, asked me to give you this message if I ever ran into you. Comrade? The world likes equality. If something gets too powerful, the world creates something new that can stand up to it. That's how we get order. That's how nature keeps the balance. Balance? If things tip real far in one direction, 
The world needs something just as powerful to push them back. The bigger that difference is, the bigger the power of order. Hell, it can get so powerful it'll threaten the world itself. This power, the thing that shows up to restore that balance, it ain't good. But it ain't evil, neither. So you think long and hard about that power, son. That's what my friend told me to tell you. Hmm. Look here, Jin. You ever think you're lost? No, you ever feel like you're prepared to tackle the thing that's sleeping inside you? Come and see me, all right? I'm sure you know where to find me. That's just about all I can do for you right now. That had to be one of the most pointless diatribes I've ever had to endure. And stop acting like you know me, Furball. You sure have grown, Ginger. Welcome back, Mr. Jubei. Did something good happen? You seem to be very pleased. Oh. Oh, no. Ain't nothing at all. Just happened to run into an old friend of mine. Huh? <laughs> well, don't you worry your pretty little head about it, all right? I yes Of course. Right then. How's about we continue where we left off? All right, that's the first scene. Let's continue further until we can get into a fight. I finally arrived, but there's no time to waste. <laughs> You're still around, aren't you? That feeling, it's much stronger than before. It must be my brother's presence I'm sensing. But how is it that I'm able to detect it so easily? Does it have something to do with Yukianas' power? In the end, it doesn't matter. Regardless of how I'm doing it, it is my will that draws me ever closer to my brother. A gentle breeze blows through Jin's hair as he, as he marauders slowly through the port. He suddenly stops in his tracks, brought up, uh, up short, not by a refreshing breeze, but uh, the figure that stood off in the distance. Wait, isn't that... Makoto? Makoto Naniya? Makoto Naya. No one could mistake in the chair, the chestnut colored or tail pouring from her NOL uniform. The daughter of a half squirrel beastkin, she spent a great deal of time with Jin in, in the student council room during their time as students. Hey, you. Huh? Uh, are you Jin Kisaragi, head of the student council? <laughs> I guess some things will never change. We're not in school anymore. And by the way, I'm a major now. Uh, excuse me, Major. However, there are more important things to talk about, such as the rumor that you defied orders and escaped from one of our ships. Hmm? I see news travels fast. But enough of that. It's not really important anymore. However, there is something that I want to ask you. Uh, uh yes. What would that be? Do you know the whereabouts of Captain Hazama? Captain Hazama? Unfortunately, I'm not quite sure where he is myself. Are you not his subordinate? Working for intelligence? Yes, well, that's true, but... We mainly just exchange information from time to time. I don't know exactly what he's doing or where he is at any given moment. He seldom informs us of his location. Hmm. And to be quite honest, I don't particularly care for him. He reminds me of a snake for some reason. You really haven't changed at all, have you? But it seems that you are indeed telling the truth. Oh well. Thanks anyway. That's all you wanted? Oh, I, I mean... What is it? I'm really in a hurry. If you have something you wish to say, just say it. It's just... I mean, you've changed quite a bit since you were at the Academy. And you're surprised by this why, exactly? I really don't understand any of you guys. Still acting like students. It's like you never graduated. What was that? Never mind. So what was it you wanted to say to me? Huh? 
how do I put it? Since the time you went to Ikaruga, something is... Something is... what? I... I'm sorry to be so straightforward, but what happened in Ikaruga? Well, 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 well! If it isn't Lieutenant Nanaya. Gathering some intelligence, I presume? Captain, Asuma. You son of a bitch. I'm sorry. But the good Major Kisaragi is quite exhausted from all the trouble he's been through today. So if it isn't too much to ask, it'd be just super if you wouldn't pester him too much. My apologies, Captain. You really shouldn't just wander around, poking that cute little nose of yours where it doesn't belong. Didn't you learn anything at the Academy? I mean, gosh. Surely you know gathering intelligence is the sort of thing you've got to do covertly. I'm just worried about you. One mistake in this business can mean your life, you know. Uh, what? What? Well... This isn't something you see every day. I heard you were pretty cold-hearted, Major, but here you are, protecting somebody. Just goes to show anyone can change, I guess. You bastard. What in the hell do you think you're doing? Oh, just, uh, educating one of my subordinates, like any good commanding officer should do. Spare the rod and spoil the child. Educating? That attack just now was clearly intended to kill. In the intelligence department, executions are now considered educational? M Major Kisaragi! Yeah. You smell like cat, Kisaragi. It's disgusting! Guess he'd have to jump on you this time. Oh, well, now I know why the Phantom screwed the pooch on this one. Looks like there is no helping it. Well, I'd like to take this opportunity to apologize to you now, Major. I don't think I'll be able to once we're done here. You bastard. What in the hell are you up to? Oh, that's a need-to-know basis, soldier. And you don't need to know. But please, trust me. This comes down from the top. It's the only other viable strategy now. If you please do me a favor and die! Time to fight Hazama! And somebody's using power tools in the background, so I um, wouldn't be surprised if the mic's picking that up. The will of fate is time! Rebel 1, action! Serpent, Counter! Die! Okay, so I love Jin's fighting style. Let's see if I can remember the Counter! 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 I love how fast he is. Now I believe this fight ends when he reaches a certain health threshold. I think. Damn it! Counter! Counter! Die! Ah, <sighs> oh, hell. Well, I guess I shouldn't have expected anything less from the hero of the Karuga. Still, I'm betting you're pretty close to your limit with injuries like those. You son of a... Damn it! Knox! I was hoping you wouldn't outlive your usefulness just yet. But I guess the flame that burns twice as bright burns half as long, right? Hey, are you... Please, just shut up. I can get someone else to deal with the Izayoi Major. So I'm gonna have to ask you to retire a little early, okay? Uh, you get over here! Huh? Huh? Hurry! Do you want to die? Huh? I'm coming! Ouroboros! <sighs> Blizzard! Well, I didn't expect you to parry that. Damn! Whatever 
persistent little insect you are. The power of order was convenient when it was... Uh, convenient. But now it's getting to be a bit of a pain in the ass. <sighs> I'll just need to ask First Lieutenant Tsubaki Ayoi to work a little bit harder. Do you think we'll be okay here? I hope we ran far enough away. Are you okay? Ah! Blood? I, I can't die in a place like this. Oh my god, your injuries. What should I do? What should I... But I don't know any healing ours, Magus, and... Oh, that's right. Orient Town isn't too far from here. Who's there? Halt! I do not wish to fight you, young lady. Who are you? I am Bang Shishigami, a ninja who fights in the name of love and justice. Might the injured man lying behind you be... Jin Kisaragi? Yes, it is. But you... Those clothes... You're from Ikaruga. Are you here to... Kill him? And with that, we will end the episode here. So, I hope you enjoyed this episode, and in the next episode, we'll continue through Jin's story. If you enjoyed this episode, do you like the videos? It helps tremendously. Subscribe if you haven't already. Leave a comment down below on your thoughts on this episode, and share the video so that way more people can discover my content of the channel grow. And I'll see you all next time. Later!